Hi guys, it's Nick. Okay, I thought I'd put a, another video together and just show you some stuff that's been selling. I'm just going to go through and show you some of the listings that I've sold over the last week or so and, and catch up with that. Um, but before I do, I want to um, just touch on the last video I did where I showed you know that we'd had a terrible week and uh, had a bit of a rough time of it. Um, I just want to thank everybody for the messages really uh, and the, the the support we felt from all of our YouTube friends and Facebook friends. Um, the amount of messages I've had and comments on YouTube and over on Facebook, uh, it's, it's been fantastic um, to feel that level of support we have from our from our friends on here on YouTube through my channel and on Facebook. So, so thanks for all your comments and your, your best wishes and all of that stuff. We're fine, we've, we've put it behind us and we're just moving on, which is all we can do. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all of your messages and support. It, it really does mean a lot. Um, also, when I go through the um, orders, there's gonna be a couple of shout outs because a couple of my subscribers have bought some of my items. So I'll, I'll, I'll try and remember to uh, mention those when I get to them. Before I start showing you stuff that's been selling, I had one little pickup. Uh, you may have seen last week sometime I, I mentioned I sold 12 of these little Pokemon WAP things. Um, as I said before, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you pick these up. They're, they're a real long tail item, um, but I tend to do quite well on them because I've got a listing where I sell them individually, so you can pick your own and people tend to buy little bundles of them. So last week I sold 12 of these for a pound each, so I've got £12 for them. Um, but I've been running a little bit low on stock, so I bought a lot on eBay, this bag full, and there's 80 of them in here. And I paid £6 for 80 delivered, um, and this person paid £2.80 to have it shipped, so yeah, they didn't get much back on it. Um, but like I say, they're a real long tail item, so these are going to take quite a while to shift, but potentially there's £80 worth in there. Um, and yeah, and I bought them with half of what I got for 12 of them that I sold last week for £12. So yeah, that was cool. So now I've just got to go in and update my listings, uh, all the quantities of all the different Pokemon. Um, it's a bit fiddly, but yeah, it doesn't, doesn't take too long. And then they will sit there and tick along. So that was nice. So right, let me show you what's been selling. Okay, so here we are on eBay. Um, first thing I'll show you, this sold uh, a day or two back. Um, it's a collection of 1960s records. I picked this up ages ago. Um, it was under a stall. I don't tend to buy vinyl. And the guy said he wanted 10 a record, I think it was. Um, and I wasn't that bothered. Um, but I had a quick look through and noticed they were all 1960s. And um, I just cheekily offered him two quid the box and he took it. So I paid two pounds. I pulled out, I was going to pull out a few more, but I looked at them, the condition wasn't that great. I was going to pull a few out and sell them individually. I only um, took one out in the end, which was the uh, 1966 World Cup song for World Cup, I think it's called World Cup Willy, um, which I'll sell on individually and try and get about 10 pounds. Anyway, I stuck this on and got £24.99 buy it now with £5.99 shipping. Although the guy still hasn't paid. Um, it's been a couple of days. But yeah, I don't think I'll have any trouble if I have to relist that again. So that was a nice quick sale. Uh, some of these Beast Quest books have gone. That's a set of six. Uh, it's gone for £6.99 and £2.99 shipping. And this was another set. Uh, that's set one, the other one was set 10. And that one I just put on the same, six ninety nine with two ninety nine, so ten pounds all in. Um, some kids, really tiny little shin pads, Nike ones. I uh, paid a pound for these, sold those for ten, with postage on top of two ninety nine. So they, they weren't really quick. They're really nice things, brand new, still in the packaging. Um, oh, this was a nice little find. I bought this at the car boot. No, actually this was at the uh, Hitchin Flea Market. Um, paid a couple of pounds for it and it's a genuine Dyson filter for a DC25. 
Um, these genuine components go really well, especially you know if they're all nice and sealed in their packaging. Um, and I got rid of that one at fifteen pound with free shipping. Now then, this one um, I showed a week or so back. I picked this up in a charity shop, and I was humming and ahhing about keeping it, but. I only really wear ties to weddings and funerals and I'm not sure how appropriate this is for either. Definitely not a funeral. So um, yeah I decided I'd better just uh, sell it on. And this has been bought by one of my subscribers so I just need to do a little shout out to Kenny and Heather in Dundee. You should, well you may have this already actually, this was shipped out yesterday or the day before. Um, so yeah. That was a nice little order. Um, so hi to Kenny and Heather in Dundee. I hope you enjoy your tie when it turns up. Um, what did I sell it for? Five ninety nine and free shipping. Uh, with these, you can you can send these as a large letter. Just make sure you you fold them up neatly and and then they they go through as a large letter. Um, okay, a few books. Uh, this I bought some books for ten p each at the car boot sale about. Or ages ago, last sort of September time, uh, and I've done really well on them. Some I've mentioned before. This one's just gone. It's nine ninety nine uh, with two ninety nine shipping. I actually made a mistake on these. I was using a template and I didn't adjust the postage on a couple of these books, so they've got two ninety nine. Normally, I'd put a, probably one fifty or something to cover this because these will go as a large letter. Um, but I didn't change it, but it, they sold anyway. Um, yeah, it's a really nice book of, oh, what have I done here? There we go. Uh, of Alien, the film, with loads of fantastic pictures of the uh, H.R. Geiger illustrations running through it. So, yeah, that one sold. So that was 10p and I sold that for 10 with shipping. And this one I've mentioned before, this Lone Wolf one, I sold for 10 with shipping, and that was 10p as well. And then the Labyrinth one that I think I showed recently in a video, uh, sold that one randomly at fourteen ninety nine without shipping. Um, so yeah, from thirty p uh, turned into thirty five quid on a few old books. So that was all good. Um, this was a bundle of Disney DVDs. Now I bought a job lot um, that I showed of Disney ones where I paid a pound each on them. Uh, I've sold off a load of those individually. These, the discs had a few light marks on. They weren't too bad, but I, you know, I would rather sell them in bundles. They will play fine. Um, but I put those ones in to make the uh, the bundle really saleable. Uh, you got Bambi and Aladdin, Bolt, Peter Pan, and then I, I bundled in a load of other stuff that I think these were all from that job lot, and these ones, and then some that I picked up really cheap other times. I think the whole lot, I'm in it for about nine or ten pounds. Um, and I managed to sell that bundle at $24.99 with shipping of $4.49. So that was good. Um, ah, Screwball Scramble. This is my listing for Screwball Scramble replacement balls. Uh, I wouldn't normally show this. I sell that these tick along nicely, although I'm selling way less now because lots of other people have kind of copied the listing. Um, as you can see there, it, it does well for me. I've sold over 500 of these. Um, and it, it's it's really helpful me, for me because my postage is worked out on average weights. If I sell a couple of these, um, it really brings down the average weight of my large letters. And um, you know, if I'm selling DVDs or games, it will bring those down to under 100 grams and I get them really cheap then. Um, so they really help keep my large letter weights down. But yeah, another one of my subscribers has bought one of these, so just got to give a shout out to uh, Julie in Lowestoft, who, funnily enough, used to live near near here, so she knows Hitchin. So hi Julie, thanks for the order, you should have had that by now. And hopefully that will complete your screwball scramble for you. Okay, oh, this is one of the three lots of the the kind of general rubbish of the pin badges I had. I sorted those out into three lots of a hundred of stuff that I didn't think would be worth making small bundles or selling individually. Um, and the same lady bought all three lots at £30. 
So yeah, I was pleased that they went really quick. Ah, oh, something a little bit different. This is a Royal Dalton, Winnie the Pooh, and Pignet, Piglet, <laughs> uh, Windy Day little figurine. Um, not a great deal of value in that. It would probably go for more at Christmas time, but I stuck it on to get rid of it. Six ninety nine with two ninety nine shipping. I think I paid a pound for that ages ago. I did buy a boxed one at the same time and and sold that for more. I think I sold the box one for ten or twelve pounds. Um, now these May Finchy books, I, I showed, I picked these up at the flea market, I bought four of these for a fiver, uh, put these three together and they sold the same day I listed them uh, at 9 99 with shipping on top and then weirdly in the bundle I had two of this one and I sold the other one of those individually for four pounds. So yeah, not great money but very quick. Now this was an interesting one. Um, I bought these at a car boot sale ages ago. It, it's um, a load of Roman coins that somebody has found metal detecting. Uh, and some of them were in these little um, like sleeve things. And they had, somebody had worked out who they were, what emperor it was and what year they were from and stuff. I tried to look into them and get an idea of value but it was all over the place and these aren't in particularly good condition to be honest uh, let me go forward so you can just about make out an emperor's head there but most of them were just like this and you, you can't really see any detail on them um, anyway so i am denied about what i was going to do should i do it on an auction or or what in the end i just stuck it on at 14 99 with free shipping and they went nice and quick so I may have undersold it I don't know but I really don't think the condition was up to much I mean there you can see the uh, the labeled ones oops no you can't they vanished um, but even those ones were in really poor condition anyway so I'm pleased to get rid of it um, I paid nothing for it because I, I bought a bundle of stuff off car boot sale stall a year or so back and made a big old stack and then just gave a price um, for everything and this was just kind of chucked in so it owes me nothing anyway um, ah these are the Daisy Meadows books now I cleared a load of these I had hundreds of them and I cleared a load they sell better in sets they come in sets of seven um, but I had a load of stuff that was a uh, sort of broken runs um, th this was on as a lot and I think most of this was on as a lot and then I picked up a few more but this was a broken run and these these are the ones that had two or three stories in each um, those had sat on for a while and weren't getting any interest this unbroken run was getting lots of views but wasn't getting picked off so I bought another mixed broken run and decided to cancel those two listings put the whole lot together and get shot of it uh, and it sold within a few hours and that was a 24.99 with 6.99 shipping and it probably owes me about 10 pounds so it's still pretty nice profit on that so that was great uh, I shifted this ticket to ride board game um, I got 24.99 with 4.99 shipping on it so that was great to see that go uh, I paid it was either two or three pounds in a charity shop I think it was two so that was a nice save on that one let's whiz through these uh, this little Lego set this is a Lego movie set uh, picked this up in clearance in Sainsbury's I think it was it might have been Asda uh, didn't get much back on this really 14.99 with free shipping I probably made five six pounds out of it uh, that actually sold, if you've seen the chat video, the last one we did where there was five or six of us chatting, that sold while we were chatting on that video. Now the, the Thomas trains that I showed you not long ago, they've shifted. This is the bundle I made up and that went pretty quick. It's uh, $14.99 with $2.99 shipping, so that was great. And I think I showed most of these I picked up uh, for a pound at the car boot sale. And in the bag was also some Disney cars, Mega Bloks cars. And let me show you those. So this is what I listed. Uh, let me come out there. So 
So there's those two Lightning McQueens and these other chassis and bits and bobs. So I just chuck those in like that and didn't get much on it. $5.99 with $2.99 shipping. Uh, but considering they were just a freebie in the bag, I was quite pleased with that. Um, more books. These are 13 sorted Doctor Who books. A lot of these Decide Your Destiny books. Not much value in those at all, but they didn't cost me much, so I was glad to see those go for £10 with four ninety nine shipping. Um, this little Harry Potter figure, I, I picked up a load of these that I got in with a um, Playmobil set. They were just randomly in the box, and I've slowly been selling those off. I, I had to reduce this guy a couple of times, um, but he's finally shifted at $5.99 with 99p ship. So that's cool. Oh, this is the Baby Bjorn um, baby carrier listing. I mentioned this before, just thought I'd show you the actual listing. That went for $39.99 within a, a day or two of listing it with shipping on top as well. So that's £46 total somebody paid for that Baby Bjorn. Oops, hang on, zoom out. Baby Bjorn Miracle Baby Carrier. So that's that one. Um, and here's Kermit that I mentioned sold a while back. Um, I've got some really cool pictures of him. I think that really helped to shift it. Hang on, let me zoom out again. There we go. It's a lovely thing. And he's sold internationally on the Global Shipping Programme. And I've got $19.99. Right, just a couple more bits and bobs to show you. Well, I thought I'd show this. Um, with DS games, it's well worth looking through. Sometimes you see loose carts just lying around. Certain titles, just grab them anyway. I picked this up for a couple of pounds. It might have even just been a pound, I can't remember. Uh, and just as a cart only, that went for eight pounds. Um, but Mario Kart on any format will sell. So, yeah, well worth picking up. Um, more books. I had two lots of David Williams books that I listed. Uh, these were the four paperbacks. Uh, not quite as desirable as the hardbacks, but still sell really well. I got £10 with shipping on top for those four paperbacks. Um, I'm probably in that for about a pound or so. So that was good. And then finally, I showed when I was sorting this lot and listing it. Um, that's one lot of the copper bits, the smaller lot of plumbing fittings and uh, that one went for $19.99 with $5.99 shipping and the other lot was this one you would have seen that in the video laid out when I was doing the pictures um, and that one went as well for $29.99 and um, I did have shipping on it and the guy messaged me and said if I could do it free shipping he'd take it so I just adjusted the listing and he bought those. Okay, that's it. Sorry that went on for quite a while. Um, I know a lot of people appreciate when I show stuff that's actually sold and what it's sold for. Uh, it gives you an idea of what you can achieve on your stuff. Um, thanks again for all your messages. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.